and I'm on my own platform and hopefully I won't crash this time. <laughs> Sorry about the delay there. Um, so let's see, where was I? I was I wanted to start talking. I wanted to cover a few topics in this um, in this episode or whatever you want to call it. Uh, first is last time when I covered photo tips, I forgot to show my graphic settings and I showed you guys how to zoom into your face, but I forgot to tell you how to go back to the regular view when I had like a million people IM me and ask me, okay, I press control zero, how do I get out of this now? And I had to tell them to press control nine. So I just wanted to uh, cover a few things that I missed in the photo tips last time. I'll also link to my old video so you can see what else I covered last time. And the other thing I want to talk about is the Katwa mesh heads. I'm wearing the Annie head, uh, but both Annie and Jessica have been updated uh, in the last month or so. During the month of October, they were actually updated quite a few times. There was there were a few things that I noticed right away that were different, so I wanted to show that. And um, then I guess I'll talk a little bit about what I'm wearing at the end. So first, let's talk about the Katwa mesh heads. These mesh heads have had quite a few updates since I purchased mine. I can't remember when I purchased it. It was sometime early October or maybe it was September and when I blogged it and back then I noticed with the makeup there used to be alpha issues with the eyelashes and the makeup and hair and now all of those issues seem to be have seem to have disappeared. So I guess they're all fixed. Um, that was part of the update. I was reading the um, update no card. Uh, just a few things that uh, kind of I just kind of skimmed through it. I didn't really, you know, read the whole thing. But um, there were one thing that th I found really interesting was in one of the last updates was that she added. If you, I'm gonna zoom into my head. I'm sorry if I freak you guys out a little bit. She added a mesh brain to the head, which was <laughs> I think is pretty uh, adorable idea. So inside the mesh brain, that she has these like little thoughts or something. I think I, I'm not wearing it or something. Anyways, that if you like, if someone zooms into your head, cams into your head, um, they have these little uh, thought bubbles or something. But I think I'm not wearing mine. Anyways, they're supposed to be thoughts, and you can like change the there's thoughts in there, uh, or, like put a quote or whatever you want to put in there. Um, there's a, a HUD or something in there that shows you how to do that. I don't know why my thought is not showing up. I guess I have no thoughts at the moment. Okay, so that was interesting. That was one of the newer updates. Um, I think uh, what else was really important? I think she, oh, uh, she, apparently her skin textures also all match the skinnery um, skin textures. I think for um, I'm not sure for, for oh yeah for mesh bodies and so forth. I believe. And um, let's see what else is there. There, uh, and there's a lot of updates. If you go in, just go to the main store and hit the redelivery, or I think if you wear it, it gets auto sent to you. I'm not sure, and you'll get the update and you'll see a note card, uh, an info note card in there, and it'll show all of the little updates. But I think the the mesh brain was kind of the cute little addition and also wanted to show you. Yesterday I did a video and in my post I said how. Um, uh, I thought Luluka's mesh heads w had the smoothest transitions in between uh, the um, in between the um, um, uh, animations, and which I, uh, back then I mean I, I only thought that, but today when I tried on the Katwa head, I, I I noticed that she has updated the animations as well, and when you go through them this time, it's actually really smooth, just like the Luluka heads. So um, I like that a lot, and one thing that I also like about these expressions is that they're um, they're autoplay, so you can actually play it. So you, they'll be playing all the time, or you can stop it. So they'll just once in a while smile and then go away, and then after a few seconds, you'll notice that I'll do the same expression. So it's kind of you know, um, it, it, it's it's more natural that way. It's not just like a frozen expression, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see what else is there. Uh, I guess I can go through some of these expressions. The smile is really cute too. And that's the tongue, of course. Everybody loves that one. I'm not a big winking person, but I love this little smirk with the eyebrow lift. I really like that. So those are the expressions, and there's a lot of updates. Um, and it's it, I don't know. I remember the first time I bought it, I had a lot of issues with um, applying. Uh, 
the skins and I would have to wait and it would take forever to res and that didn't happen at all today it, it, it was really quick I'm wearing um, the details applier um, I forgot the name of it I think it was Madison yeah it's called Madison and um, yeah so it's, it's actually uh, uh, I, I like it a lot it's it's a lot faster smoother the, the expressions are smoother uh, it, it works really well and I really like this Annie head a lot. Uh, last time I showed you guys, I showed you guys the Jessica head, which I had purchased. But this time I have the Annie, and I really like it. The lips are a little bit fuller on this one, um, and I don't know. The side profile is very nice too. And again, I love that little smirk. So that's the update for the cat paw heads. I'm just gonna check if anybody has any questions. No. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about what I had missed talking about last time which was some of the graphics settings that I kinda messed up. So last time I did a photo, uh, I did a live stream of photo tips and I f the first thing I should have done was I should have showed you guys my graphic settings which I absolutely forgot to do, I don't know why. So uh, most of the time um, I always have it on ultra this really really depends on your computer system what it could handle and uh, I keep it on ultra because I really don't really f I don't feel lag. I don't know why I was crashing right now at that sim. That's something that's very rare and very seldom happens. So um, I I very rarely feel lag or anything like that. So I always keep it on ultra. I always keep um, my basic shaders, my uh, atmospheric shaders, advanced lighting. Sometimes I turn off ambient inclusion because sometimes that can mess with uh, seams and stuff like that but I don't like the way the shadows look when I remove that so um, I, I usually keep it on it, it really depends on how things are looking but I usually keep it on and then I always have shadows on um, and complex shadows and um, I pretty much go crazy max on everything except for particles because I really dislike particles um, I just I don't know unless I'm doing something unless I have something in my hand uh, that or uh, an item that releases some cool particles or if I'm like you know when you're dancing I have these kind of little um, objects that I have that release particles so sometimes I'll turn that on but other than that I always keep it on zero because I feel like they cause unnecessary like noise in my on my screen and I don't I don't like it but uh, I know and I know it causes lag for some people it doesn't for me but I just I don't like the noise so I always keep that off um, I, I I normally shouldn't a lot of people sh you shouldn't really have it on from 40 because that's a lot it, I think the regular default is 12 or something I just put it up because I was someplace where I was taking a picture of a lot of people recently it was like a group portrait I was doing and there was a lot of people so I had to push it up um, and also with the dis draw distance, when you're alone in a studio like I am right now, you really don't need the draw distance high at all, right? Because you're I'm doing a close-up shot. Now, if I were to zoom out, you'll see that I completely disappear, and that's when I would need a higher draw distance. But if you're doing a close-up shot, keep the draw distance low. It'll reduce lag. It'll make your shadows better. Like, look at this shadow in the background. Watch what happens to it when I'm pr playing around with the draw distance right so you want to make it as low as possible unless you're on a scenic sim which I was on right now then I had it around 200 because I wanted to show the pretty trees and stuff in the background uh, I don't know why I was crashing there I never crash I think it was a sim at that time or it could be all the programs that I'm running or something I don't know but I'll try and go back to the sim because it's uh, it's a really nice pretty sim it's like a Scottish village with the auto autumn atmosphere it's called um, what was it called it was called Loch Noble um, and I'll, I'll try and take you back if I can. If I don't crash, I'll, tra I'll take you back there, and we'll take a look around. We'll take a look, ar look around there. So uh, after you have set up all your uh, graphic settings, and you want to make sure you have shadows on and so forth. Next thing you want to do before you take your picture, I covered this in the last tutorial as well, is you want to go into Winlight. Uh, if you're not using um, Firestorm like I am, uh, you can go into uh, World Environment Editor, Sky Presets, and I usually edit uh, Sky Preset. And once you're in there, you want to go pick a um, wind light to work with. I usually use my own, or sometimes I'll use the photo tools. Uh, one wind light that I really like in photo tools, but you have to really edit a lot too, if you're taking 
um, blogging pictures and you want the pictures and items to stand out, uh, you want to make sure that, um, um, how do I, sorry, I just uh, messed my screen. So you want to make sure you edit a lot and to make it uh, nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my favorite photo tools Winlight and how I mess with it to get kind of like a more dramatic shot. So I, the Winlight that I like to use is called Andy Light. And you'll notice right away that I'm going to get really dark. Now, for an atmospheric or a drama picture, this is kind of cool lighting and so forth. But for a blog picture, no, it's it's not great. So um, then I usually do new sky preset over here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to reduce this. Okay, I think I'm going too fast. I want to reduce this ambient. You want to click on that. And then you're going to reduce this color a little bit to make the shadows not so dark. Okay? Wherever you want it. And I also, sometimes I don't want like the purple lilac tinge that's there. Sometimes I want a more gray or maybe reddish. And you can play around with the colors. I don't know, I'm just going to pick something really quick here. Okay, let's go with a little bit blue. And then you can also play with the sun moon setting. So I like to do like a little... I mean, yesterday's I did a video. This is I think this is the one light that I use because I wanted it kind of look like a like a little glow from the from the from the window behind me, and so I rotated it a little bit, and uh, you know, so kind of give it. You know, I put a little bit more gamma in there, and then you can play more with the haze. Go crazy. Add some depth to the picture. Oops. You don't want to go too crazy. Mm, maybe that much. So anyways, you get the idea. Play with the wind light. Have some fun with it. Once you've played with it, and you're ready to take the picture. Now, um, last time I talked about this, when you're zooming into yourself, and if you just lose, use your mouse, you're going to get the fisheye effect, right? It looks like I have a really big nose, and it kind of looks really weird. So what you want to do is, w instead of using your mouse to zoom in... Oh, somebody also asked me, how do I navigate myself? I'm like, I'm going really fast. Uh, instead of using the camera control um, buttons that were over here. Instead of using these, um, what I do is I press Control and Alt at the same time, and I use my left mouse, and I click, and, I, and then I'm able to rotate any way up, down, backwards, forward, sideways, etc. And that's how I usually cam around. So instead of doing that to take a picture, like zooming yourself with the mouse, what you want to do is you want to press Control Zero to zoom in. One, I usually do it three times, three to five times. You can do it more. And what that does is it flattens the image instead of giving you the fisheye effect. It, it, gets, gives, it gives it more of a natural zoom. And once you're done taking that picture, what I forgot to mention last time is to get out of this view and go back to normal view, you press Control 9 and it takes away the zoom that you did. And just to kind of give you the other side of that, you use Control 0 to zoom in, Control 9 to go back to regular view, then you, you can also press Control 8 to zoom out. Now I know a lot of people use, not a lot of people use Control 8, but I do know that travel bloggers uh, have been using Control 8, some of them a lot, to get a kind of more of a fuller view of the sim. And it kind of gives like a little cute little small village type effect. So I use Control 0 to zoom into my face whenever I'm taking a picture. And then once I'm zoomed in, then I just press Snapshot. When I press Snapshot, um, the first thing I want to make sure is I want to save to disk because um, I want to be able to have it uh, uh, on my computer so I can take it into Photoshop and um, you know process it how I want and then upload it to Flickr or whatever social network I want. Uh, I also showed you guys the um, filters last time that you can play with. Um, so I'm, you, I'll link to the old video. I don't want to repeat a lot of the stuff. I also want to go with the um, highest possible width but and click constrain proportions and then I press save so you have the biggest picture possible that you can play around with. When, when I'm uploading to my profile sometimes I just want to take a quick picture or like a, to show a raw shot or something onto my profile. I usually don't constrain proportions there and I usually try to do it a square because I just want to keep it 
short, uh, I mean small and, and, and quick. So I do it that way. I have a lot of, um, I'm just trying to watch the comments at the same time and <laughs> there's going to be no porn just so <laughs> for the person who is looking for porn here. Um, so uh, yeah, so whichever way you decide to save it, you, you can go upload directly to Facebook, you can upload to Twitter, there's so many ways. I don't really do that. I usually just save to desk or I'll save to my profile if I want to share a raw shot. Uh, that's about it. I haven't really tried the other ways that as much, I think once or twice. Um, I don't like the results always when I upload it. I think I've tried uploading to directly to Flickr or Facebook. So I stick with saving to disk. And that's how I usually take my images. I hope I covered everything this time. I'm not sure if I did. I'm pretty sure I probably missed something. That always happens. Okay, so I got wind light, I got control zero, I got my graphic settings. And I talked about the cat head. I'm just going to take a look at the... <laughs> Hi guys, no, no mango porn either. So um, I'm just I'm just trying to keep an eye on the, um, the questions as well, just in case there is somebody who wants to ask any questions. So the next thing I want to talk about is what I'm wearing. What I'm wearing is... Um, actually a lot of it is from Collaborate. Uh, I believe the boots and the shirt are both from Ison and they are at Collaborate and they are amazing and beautiful and I love them. I'm wearing the Maitreya... Uh, Maitreya? Sorry. <laughs> still pronouncing it wrong. Um, I'm wearing the Matreya versions and I still had to use the alpha um, with it even though it is the fit map, which fit map version and I think you know that's normal I, I see I do that with a lot of clothes I think people assume that you're gonna put on a fit mesh that's made for the body and you don't need to use the alpha no that's not always the case um, you still sometimes have to use the alpha and I don't have a problem with that at all so I have that. These two are f I collaborate from my son, and the jeans are also from my son because that's why they fit so well. And this outfit is awesome. This is like his latest release. The jeans are actually at his main store, and I, I think they were fifty percent off, but I'm not sure if they still are. So if you want them, you should probably go today. And this is a uh, I love this bag. It's so cute. It's from Matress. It's also I collaborate, and it uh, the one thing I really love about Matress. I hope I'm pronouncing it right because I really suck at pronouncing things but um, I love their fabric cuds they are uh, yeah the outfit is all ice on thank you Dave <laughs> okay so uh, I love their fabric cuds because they give so many options um, you can change around the colors to anything you want uh, oh I think I pressed the wrong button no no I'm fine okay so you know you can each each single, each different piece of the bag can be changed into a different color, whatever one, whichever one you want, which, which, however you want to do it. It's, it's. Uh, I really like this. I really like their, um, their fabric cuts and and the way they handle all of the customization and stuff. So that's my bag. Okay, the necklace I'm wearing is from Maxi, and um, it's not fully rest. There we go. And it, that I think that's also a collaborate, and it's really cute because it's got this little autumn scene with the little fox, and I thought that was adorable. And the hair. Okay, the hair is really important because the hair is part of a new event that just started. It's called Hairology, I believe. Yeah, I think it's called Hairology. And this hair is there right now, and it's from Alicatera, I believe. Yes. And it's really cute, and there are a lot of other hairs there that I really liked. I think um, Boone has a really nice style there. There's En Vogue, and Analog Dog, and um, a few other styles that I really, really liked over there. So definitely check out, check out Hairology. I think their website is... Just search Hairology, Second Life, Google, or just... I'm going to do a blog post and, and link to all of that so you can check out my bag b blog later today I should have all the links and so forth so that's my outfit uh, I'm just wondering what else I should cover and I think that's it hopefully I didn't mess this up and I didn't I did really want to show you this sim that I was on <laughs> I'm, a, I'm better than a morning talk radio thank you <laughs> What about guy hair though? I did see one guy hair. Oh, I only saw one there, but I didn't. Um, you know what? I could try going there right now and see. Let me see if I don't crash again. Uh, I'm just gonna. Maybe I'll take off some of the things so I don't crash. Uh, and I'm gonna do like a very neutral setting. Because sometimes, I don't know if it's me, but sometimes if I do like a really crazy wind light, 
I notice that it affects my um, my speed and stuff. I don't know if that's something that's just in my head or I don't know. Whatever. So I'm just gonna go with my because my my wind light that I like to use a lot because it's I'm, my camera is all over the place. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, is the headshots one that's on my blog? That's one I use. I I like to use because it's just clear and easy for me to see and everything. So I'm gonna go to Hairology. I believe I have the. But I believe I saw one guy here there, and you know what? There's probably gonna be a million people there right now. Let's see how if I crash again. All right, let's see. Yes, Jackson, you agree. Sometimes when light settings slow things down. Thank you. So I wasn't just you know losing my mind. Okay, there's not too many people here. I should probably move from the land from the landing spot. Okay. So, let's see if I can show you guys some of the hair at Hairology. Oh, look at this gorgeous hair from Mina. That's beautiful. Love it. One thing I like about Mina hair is that she always adds a little, you know, flyaways here and there. It kind of gives it more movement. And look at this hair from Emotions. I love the braids. Oops. I did, haven't tried it on yet, but I really like the, the way the braids looked. Um, let's see. What else? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to see if there's any guy hair here for you, Oscar. I'm pretty. Oh God, my camera! I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I'm not. I haven't heard this. Heard of this? Which one is this one? Hmm, I don't know what this is, but this is. Oh, that looks nice. I like that too. Okay, I'm looking for guy hair. Sorry, I'm, I get. Oh, I love this hair. I have this one. I know. I want to wear it that next time. This is such pretty, pretty hair. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna. Okay. I know I saw one guy here. Here. Okay, there we go. There. This is from Bade, Bade or Bade. I don't know. How do you pronounce that? So that's your guy here, Oscar. Hope you like it. All right. So let's see. <laughs> yes, I'm window shopping for you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I really wanted to show you the lock. Noble sim that I was at before, the one that I was crashing at, because it's so pretty. It was like a little Scottish village, so I'm gonna try going back there and see what happens. And if I crash, then I'm just gonna end the live stream if I crash, because I'm not gonna bother. But if I don't crash, then then I'll I'll walk around the sim a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. And it has such pretty sounds. It has like water and birds and you know, it's just so relaxing. It's just the kind of sim that even when I'm working in Photoshop, I'll just kind of log in there just to hear the sounds, you know, instead of opening up YouTube. <laughs> um, look at this. I'm just going to stand in the landing spots so I can piss people off when they land on my head. No, I'm joking. Okay, let me move from there. All right. Let's see if I lag. I didn't even let it fully res. So I'm impatient. Okay. But I think it's definitely this sim that's killing me for some reason, which very rarely happens. So I'm just gonna leave myself down there and I'm gonna cam. Because I think that'll be easier. And I might take a picture or two because it's such a pretty sim. It's like a little Scottish village and it has all this autumn kind of feel to it, which autumn is starting to end. Well, I live in Florida, so we don't really have autumn. So I can just enjoy it in Second Life. And there's like this zombie looking dude here. I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Bridge troll. <laughs> yeah, I look like a bridge troll, don't I? <laughs> Just under the bridge. Which my current FPS is really low. It's like, oh, it's going up and down. It's like 10 right now. What's a good FPS, Jackson? I don't know. Like, what should it be? I love cars. I want to sit in this. Can I sit in this? Is it going to kick me out? 
No, keep me up. So rude. Okay. Okay. Look at the pretty colors. Why can't I have this in real life? Okay, so... I should just move to New York. What do you think? Let's do a poll. Should I move to New York or Toronto? And will Canadians actually let me in? Okay, my FPS is... This is just ridiculous. This sim is just killing me. I don't know why. Um, it's probably... Varies by sim, but my computer must look like yours. So it's been lights on usually 10 to 30 with some places. Okay. Okay, so right now I'm like 5 FPS. Maybe because of all the mesh I'm wearing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm wearing like a mesh head and a mesh body and... Oh, come on. Let's see. But yeah, this is the sim. It's called Loch Noble, and it's on in it's on uh, it's a pine woods pine pine winds sim. But yeah, I think uh, I think I'm good for today. I don't want to move to Can. I, okay, I'm. Yeah, you you know, snow is something that I'm really scared of because being a Floridian, I'm not used to snow at all. I'm used to, like, you know, just happy, sunny all the time. So, I'll look at my smile. And my eyes are in my head. I need to fix that. But anyways. Yeah, so this is the sim. I've covered, I think, everything that I wanted to cover. So I think I will put you guys out of your misery right now and end the live streaming. And I'll write up a post and I'll add the video and I'll put all the credits and all the links to this place and all that, hopefully. Yeah, I, yeah, Jackson, you're right. I think, uh, I don't know. I'm not as laggy if I just stand around and I cam and stuff, but moving around is definitely... But at least I'm not crashing like I was earlier. This is so cute. Look at this. I love this little thing. Anyway, so I'm going to end this live streaming. <laughs> and thank you guys for joining me and for putting up with my crashing and my stuttering and all my, you know, everything. And uh, I'll try to stream some more just randomly here and there whenever I have time. And uh, that's it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Leave me comments in my posts or wherever. Or email me and let me know what else you want me to stream, what else you want me to talk about, if there is anything else in the photography that you want me to cover. And I'm sorry if I move my camera around too much. I just looked at it and thought maybe that probably makes you guys dizzy. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.